Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, guys, I'm going to be talking all about microblading. Guys, I've never had a video requested so much like this in my life, on this whole YouTube channel's life. Uh, I've never been asked so much for a video. I posted about it online and said like, hey guys, I'm going for microblading and posted some pictures and y'all were like, where is that video? I want to see it, post it, get that shiz up because we want to see what this is all about. Even my dad was like, come, where's this video? Everyone wants to see it, you haven't put it up, what's going on? So I was like, okay. <laughs> Let me get on that. So anyway, here I am. I'm going to be chatting all about the microblading and the whole procedure, what to expect, what it's about, blah, 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 all that stuff. So yeah, guys, if you're not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And also give this video a thumbs up if you like it. But if you want to see more about this whole microblading procedure, then keep on watching. Okay guys, so I'm going to try my best not to ramble on and make this an extremely long video. So I'm just going to do everything in kind of portions. And the first thing is where did I get my microblading done? Or who did my microblading? You know what I mean? So the lady who did my microblading, her name is Fallon, and she is the owner of Wink and Whisper. That is her business. I will leave everything down below, her details, her Facebook page. Whatever you guys need, it's going to be there in the description box, trust me. And basically, she is boss at doing false lashes and microblading. I met her online, we've been chatting back and forth for ages now, and long story short, she did the microblading for me. And guys, I'm not just saying this, but she is so, so awesome. Honestly, the most professional person I've ever come across in the beauty industry, just everything about her is so awesome and i really am not just saying that she is amazing and i'm honestly so glad i went to her and you know she's just i don't know what else to say she is awesome okay guys so the second thing is what is microblading what is this thing everyone's talking about and we ain't got no damn clue about basically guys microblading is not mechanical it's not a machine it's not like a tattoo um, gun or anything like that. Basically what they use is it's a long like little metal um, holder and in that holder goes a blade but this blade is different. It's made up of tiny tiny little needles that have all been like um, what, what would you call it that have all been stuck together to make the tiniest blade on the planet. So it's like 17 needles or 14 needles. Fallon was actually showing me the different gauges you get. You get like 14 little needles next to each other or 11. But basically, because the needles are so fine at the tip, when you add them all up, you've got like a super, super fine blade. And that piece just gets stuck into the handle. And that is the whole thing that does microblading, basically. So it's not like she puts a machine on and it's this whole machine. It's not like that at all. And then what happens is that end gets stuck into some kind of like dye or obviously the dye they use for your eyebrows. And then what happens is she takes that and she scores into your skin or it's going to sound so graphic. It's not that graphic, but she cuts little fine hairs into your skin. So it resembles the look of hairs and it's super natural and all the rest. Now the difference between microblading and permanent makeup is microblading is more semi-permanent. So, you know, it all depends on the person, but basically it's gonna last one to three years. It's not deep into your skin. It's like semi into your skin. I'm not sounding very uh, scientific here or anything. I'm really sorry. But permanent makeup is permanent. I mean, it's there, they go deep into your skin, it stays in your skin, and that's kind of it. You've got those eyebrows, and also it doesn't look as natural. It's literally like tattooing on eyebrows. Whereas microblading, <laughs> Ooh. Whereas microblading, it's semi-permanent, it looks super natural, and it's not as deep in your skin. It's like the middle layer, halfway through. I'm sorry guys, I hope you get the gist of that. Okay, so number three guys, now the procedure. Basically, from start to finish, this is what happens. The first thing is, Fallon applies a numbing gel to your eyebrows. And this is obviously so you don't feel anything when she scores into your skin or cuts into your skin. So she puts on the numbing gel and then what she did was she put a layer of like cling wrap on and basically what this does is it just warms up the area and helps the numbing gel work faster. It's kind of like when you put hair dye on your hair and the whole thing gets warmed up and everything reacts beautifully and you just, it just works. Same kind of concept. So she puts the numbing gel on, the cling wrap goes over and you just wait roughly 20-25 minutes 
until you can't really feel your eyebrows. <laughs> then the next thing is she wipes that off and she starts mapping out your brows. She's got this whole technique and it is very, very interesting. And um, she's got the special face ruler that goes over your face here. And basically you just make sure everything lines up. So with my eyebrows, what was actually happening was they were kind of slanting more inwards. And basically, the end of your eyebrow should never dip lower than this part of your eyebrow. And mine were doing that, which actually makes you look a bit more aged. It looks like your eyes are sagging. It's more, it's more like an illusion. It looks like your eyes are more saggy. And what she was saying is that mine needs to be brought out a little bit. So she mapped out the shape. She said, stand up, have a look in the mirror. Are you happy with that shape? And she also mentioned that whole thing about my brows and that she'd have to bring them out a bit, which meant she was gonna have to take quite a bit of my ends away, which I was totally fine with because I was happy with the shape. I trust her completely. And um, what was nice is that she said, are you happy with the shape? Do you want anything changed? I was quite specific about my arches. I really wanted my arches more defined and I wanted the ends more defined. And she did that. I was very happy with the shape. So then I laid back down and she actually started the microblading process. And you cannot feel it at all, guys. This is something that's come up a lot in pain. I will get to that. But she just goes through the whole eyebrow. Then she does this side. She goes between them. And then basically by that time, all the, um, you know, mapping stuff that she's done has rubbed off. And she says, you know, stand up, have a look at your eyebrows. Are you happy with them? I was very happy. And she said, are you sure? Do you want anything else changed? I noticed there was one or two more hairs I wanted on my arch. She happily filled them in. I just like how throughout the whole process she's saying, are you happy? Is there anything you want changed? Um, you know, it's just, it's not like, lie down, I'm gonna do eyebrows and this is it kind of thing. I think a lot of people get that impression. It's not like that at all, guys. You, you can see what your eyebrows are gonna look like throughout the whole process change anything and add to it or whatever you want it's actually amazing and then basically what she does after that is she lays you down again and she puts on i think it's called a mask guys i do stand corrected and i'm sorry i don't have the exact term here but basically what she does is she takes that exact pigment that she used when she scored your eyebrows and creates like a mask over your eyebrows and just rubs it in and basically what that is doing is making sure if there wasn't any pigment that landed up in those marks, it's in there now. So it's just going over all those lines and making sure there is definitely ink in them and that it's going to look full and inked and all the rest. I hope that makes sense. And then finally, after she rubbed that mask off, she puts on a double barrier cream and that's just so nothing is going to get to your you know, your cuts or your scores. It sounds so weird saying that, I'm sorry. And I hope it doesn't freak you out. It's really, it's really nothing to stress about at all. But it's just, you know, you've actually opened up your skin and stuff. So you don't want it to get infected and you don't want dirt and dust on there. So this barrier cream is basically just to prevent any germs or nasty things getting on your eyebrows and on those score lines. And that is basically the whole procedure. Then you get up and you go on home. The whole procedure, Fallon was saying to me, it could take about one and a half hours which I thought was nothing. I honestly thought microblading would take about four hours. That is not the case at all. Um, so yeah, it's really about one and a half, two hours, I'm sure, which is pretty damn quick if you ask me to get the most amazing eyebrows ever. Then onto the pain part. So this was probably the one thing I was asked the most. How sore is it? Can you feel it? Is it excruciating? No, not at all guys. Like I said in the beginning, the first thing she does is she applies a numbing cream. And that is literally so you can't feel your eyebrows or your skin or anything where she applies it. So as she started my microblading here, I couldn't feel anything whatsoever. Um, and then as she got more to the arch and the lower bit of the arch and the end, you can start feeling it a bit more. But as soon as it got a little bit painful, I said, well, found it, it's a little bit sore. No problem, she moved on to the other eyebrow and just applied more numbing cream. And the first thing she said to me was, if it gets sore, tell me and we'll apply more numbing cream or, you know, we'll make sure it does not hurt. You know, I think in some people's head, they just think if something hurts, they're just gonna keep on going and keep on hurting me. That is not the case. If you start feeling it or feeling pain, you just say, well, hang on a second, I can feel that, it's kind of sore. You know, and they make a plan for you guys. You're not gonna go there and Fallon's gonna torture you while she does your eyebrows. That is definitely not the case. And yeah, it is not meant to be sore. So do not think it's gonna be this hair raising, painful procedure or whatever you wanna call it. It is definitely not that, guys. Then onto the aftercare. 
is another thing you guys really wanted to know about and surprisingly the aftercare is actually super easy. I thought it was going to be complicated, not at all. So after I had my brows done, the Fallon gave me this little card. It's got everything on here about the aftercare and then also a vitamin A plus and vitamin D ointment which you'll use. So once she's done your eyebrows, you go home and you do not touch your eyebrows for five days. You do not get them wet, you do not wash them, don't wipe them, scratch them, itch them, do anything to them, you do not apply any product, nothing guys. Do not touch your eyebrows for five days. Then after day five, you can take a wet cotton pad and basically just wipe them very gently to start getting them a bit clean. And then you're gonna start applying this ointment three to four times a day. So I'm basically in that stage now. I cleaned my eyebrows with a cotton pad very, very gently. Because you don't wanna pull the scabs off and you don't wanna reopen those kind of score lines or those cuts. You just wanna be very, very gentle. It's literally like, you know, a cut, so it does scab and you've gotta be very careful with it, guys. But most importantly, guys, do not scratch at them, pull the scabs off or anything like that. It sounds so gross, um, but they do get very itchy and just try your best not to scratch them because you don't want it to scar or anything bad to happen. You don't want it to get infected or anything like that. So yeah, other than that, it's super easy. I even bathed, I didn't shower because I didn't want any water running on them and they will be completely 100% properly healed after four weeks. That is the time it takes your skin to like regenerate, heal and all that jazz. So after four weeks, completely done. And yeah, guys. So finally guys, the before and after. Here is what my eyebrows looked before I went to Fallon, obviously. You can see they're quite light, there's not that much definition. Um, my arches aren't really defined, the ends aren't really defined. Um, they're not like completely awful, like oh my god, look at her eyebrows. Um, they were fairly full and everything like that, but I just wanted them to be more precise, a little bit darker, more chiseled, you know. I didn't want to have to fill my brows in every single day. And here is what they look like now, guys. This is literally the day of the procedure. I came straight home, kind of touched up my makeup a little bit, and this was exactly how my brows looked afterwards. And you can see, you can still go out that night, you can still go to meetings or see clients or anything. It's not like this giant mess and you've swollen up or anything like that. Um, I was actually amazed. I thought I was going to swell up a lot after having them done, but that was certainly not the case. And yeah, this is what they look like today. I'm on day six now and you can see guys. They are just rocking my world. I am so happy with them. So once my eyebrows are completely healed after the four weeks, I will go back to Fallon for the follow-up session. And that is equally important. It's to see if everything's settled in place, just to make sure you are still completely happy with your brows. And she goes back over everything and makes sure they're even more fuller, makes sure the ink's properly in place, and she just does a touch-up session, basically. Also, what will happen is they will start fading slightly. So they look fairly dark now because they're still in the healing process, but once they're completely 100% heal, they will be about 30 to 40% lighter. So when we were actually going through it, Fallon was saying she wants to go a darker color, which I'm 100% happy with. But basically the first time around, I'm glad she went a bit light because obviously I can see, all right, this is very natural, I like it, let's carry on. So there is a follow-up procedure, it's very important to go back for it and just make sure you are 150 million times percent happy. Hope that makes sense. But yeah guys, that is basically it. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope you got to see a little bit more about microblading and how the whole procedure is done. You do not have to be afraid about it or anything like that. And I would highly, highly, highly recommend you go to Fallon. That's who I went to. I trust her so much because honestly, she is so professional. She did my eyebrows like so damn good. Just so damn good. And yeah, I wouldn't recommend anyone else. So I will leave all her goodies below, as I mentioned. I'm sorry if there's anything I left out. Um, I'm just still trying to think if there's something I've left out. But if you have any questions, please guys, leave them down in the description box. I know Fallon will also be checking out this video once it's up and I'm sure she'll answer if there's something I can't answer. As I mentioned in the beginning, please hit the subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed and also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. But until next time, bye!